uh, young artists. I say we both in the same same age category. I think what are you, forty, Maurice? Forty one. Forty one. Maurice Evans, brother. Let's keep it real, man. Talk to me. What you know? We just had a conversation earlier about. Um, you know, artists not getting they do a number of the shows. Uh, they promote the the entertainers. They promote, you know, the book people coming in and sign books. But what do we got to do for them to really take the visual artists more seriously? And, and man, show 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 a little more love in terms of marketing us as a part of the package when they put the shows together. I mean, what can we do? Ah, that's so that's such a, a, a heavy, multi layered question. Can't be answered in a simple or simplified way. It's many, many, many things. Uh, we're not like uh, musical artists where they have videos, um, they get interviews, they get magazine spreads, and because they become popular, then all of a sudden they're in you know, other facets of arts and entertainment, so they're in movies and become spokespeople for different products and so forth and so on. So until artists get to that celebrity status, uh, you know, then it would be much more respected. You know what I'm saying? I think I think people respect it, but they they don't and they value it. But it's almost like uh, it's like uh, do you remember when the Arsenio Hall show went off the air? Mm-hmm. Okay. I yeah. remember when black folks complained and complained and complained about Arsenio. Right. And then he went off the air. Mm. Then it was like, wow, now there's no one out there, prime time, late night, representing us. No one else is doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So now all of a sudden, you're, you know, your black entertainers weren't seen at night. You understand? Because they weren't on David Letterman, they weren't on Jay Leno. You know what I'm saying? Arsenio was doing that. Yeah. So now, you know, black people have to, when they get to that that point where it's like, oh, it's gone, then they're going to understand what it is that they had. Yeah. You know, um, you know it's a bad thing. You know, I don't know what it's going to take. Okay. Um, but it's like, it's trying to get people to understand just how important uh, art is. And it's, and it's very, very, very important. It's probably the most important art form out there. I mean, they use visual arts to sell and market everything that's out there. You need an artist to draw plans. You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if you, you need an architect to make your house, you know what I'm saying? You need a designer to design your car. You need a designer to design this video camera. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it's all art. And, and, it, and it baffles me that. Here in Atlanta? Uh, since 1986 is when I moved to Atlanta. I came here to go to school. Okay, okay. And during that time, uh, you know, right now we're right around the corner from the National Black Art Festival. Mm-hmm. And uh, have you done that show before? I've done it plenty of times before. Okay, um, okay. The first time I did that show was, I think, in 1994. Okay. I have been to the show before. Didn't even understand that it was a big deal. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Until... Um, I'm gonna call her name Grace Kisa. Says, "Hey, why don't you submit your work to this, this you know, to this show? Maybe you can get it." Yeah. And I'm like, you know, you know, whatever. So I see some slides in. And all of a sudden, I'm in the show. Right? It's '94, and I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until other artists and other people were like, "Wow, you got in that show? You got in it the first time you applied? Really?" Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I did. What's, what's up? Then I started to understand how big of a deal it was. And um, now I respect the show. Was, during this heyday, I thought it was the best thing ever for artists because this is the one time that you get to see all your favorite artists or these great artists in one spot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For, like, who did for you see? Week. Who did you see? Can you think of anybody oh, man, the in particular? First time I saw Paul Goodnight, I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> God, I seen his work when I was young. I saw it on the Fresh Prince. I saw it, you know, when I first moved to Atlanta. I would see it in different places, and I, you know, I loved this, this guy's art. I didn't know who he was. I didn't even know there was such things as a black art market. You understand what I'm saying? And then I met um, 
Uh, Gilbert Young, you know, I've seen that paint heavy image. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and your Charles Bills and all these guys, I mean, Frank Frazier's and, you know, just the greatest of, of our time. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're the new, you know, people speak of the Harlem Renaissance, they're the new Renaissance. You know what I'm so when I saw them, I was like, wow, I'm in the company of these people that I've admired, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and respected. So it was a big deal, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when I'm doing the show, man, I'm, I'm, I'm at the show and I'm just kind of standing there. I'm just like, wow. I'm like, and I'm watching people walk by. I'm just like, wow, I don't think they really get what's happening. You don't understand yeah. how great this thing is and what's really going down, you know what I'm saying? And how many chances, you know, how many times this is actually happening. It's don't happen that often. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you had, you know, actors coming here, poets, and, I mean, big name folks. And it was a, a huge event for Atlanta for a long time. And people back in the day, it, was, it wasn't an every year event, it was, you know, every two years. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people would come to Atlanta for the show, from all over the country. And these people will actually save their money, you understand, to come and budget out to come buy work at the Black Arts Festival. That's how serious it was. 